two and a half year old Dane has finally found a good reason to head to the bathroom. It involves his growing desire to be a big boy. We knew that he was ready for potty training um, because at daycare he was following the big boys and girls into the bathroom and asking to sit on the, the toilet as well. Mom is happy about this new focus on getting out of diapers. Yet, as pediatricians suggest, it should not be cause for fanfare. This sends the wrong message to the child. We're not focused on it that much. We're sort of letting him um, give us the cues of when he's ready to do it. We spend about um, 20 minutes a day um, in the morning, I would say, and, and perhaps another 20 minutes or so in the evening uh, potty training him. Parents are often concerned their child is delayed, but normal potty training can range from 18 months to three years. So if a child around age two decides that potty training is part of being independent, boom, it happens. If on the other hand they decide that mom wants it or dad wants it and they really need to be independent, well then that actually can delay it. So do you ever try to use the potty? No, not ready yet. It clearly helps for a child to have some verbal skills. Happy mommy. The verbal skills to understand what you're asking them. Uh, it clearly is important for a child to be uh, emotionally ready and therefore uh, not uh, not fighting the process. Remember, if the child fights potty training, the child wins. Some children fear the toilet. To combat this, get them used to the sound and make it fun. <laughs> Choose your bathroom language carefully because kids repeat these words. And if using a regular toilet, make sure it's fitted with a child seat. It's very important that a child who is sitting on an open seat, a, a donut seat with a hole in the middle, not feel like they're going to fall through. If it's a fitted seat on a regular toilet, make sure the child has a footrest so their feet are not dangling. This gives them more control and balance. Potty chairs are helpful, especially for smaller children. Make trips to the potty a regular part of your child's daily routine. But don't try to force quick results. Forcing a child too early can actually backfire and result in bedwetting and regression for years to come. For Dane, books make toilet time fun. Encouragement and praise are good, but don't go overboard. If a child knows their toilet training is in the spotlight, the toilet could be used in a power struggle. If a child is slow to train, in most cases, the best advice is to do nothing. The best way to train a three-year-old is just stand back, trust them to do it, and get out of their way. And don't say anything about it, because they'll probably do it. But if they haven't done it by three and a half, come back and see me.